and howdy guys so in, uh, i figured out what happened i everything um everything worked i'm going to press save password no your database has been added i'm going to press explore this data i'll show you in a moment what that does it's really cool and here's my database over here i think it's called csv yeah csv the metabase the only thing was missing was my host was was uh was misnamed i forgot the j at the beginning Everything else was all good. Okay, I don't need to use an SSH tunnel for database connection. I press save changes. Everything was all good and it worked. If you have any questions and you can't get it to connect, just make sure that the that all the all the the columns are correct, all the these names, the host, the database name, username and the password are correct and everything should work. If it doesn't work, feel free to reach out um in the comments. All right. So, uh everything is all good or slash the QA um, and yeah and now it tells me it took that uh, metabase uh, takes this data right and it offers uh, to show me what what it can do with that data so now that the data is in metabase this is the best the the best part of it right I can go to ask a question custom question I choose my data source. What's that data source? CSV to Metabase, whatever I named it while I was adding a new database over here. And in this case, I called it CSV to Metabase. And there's my table conversion data, which is that straight up export from CSV. I'm going to choose conversion data. And now let's actually look at that question that we originally had from this potential employer. What did the guy ask? They said, please identify five traffic sources that exceeded the target quality. Um, a traffic source is a sub-publisher that came in under a publisher, right? So if you remember over here, a uh, sub-publisher that, what were the most, the sub-publishers that, uh, that gave us the best results in terms of new accounts and first deposits? All right. Let's just double check that that exceeded the target quality okay so let's go into metabase we say here we're gonna search the conversion data I'm gonna go into sub publishers I'm gonna go into what some of some of uh, let's see first deposit right pick a column to group by group by sub publisher sub publisher and visualize okay and then I'm gonna uh, this gives me the sub publishers with the most amount of deposits over here, right? So I want to actually play with the data. I'm going going into settings. I'm going to say table options. Let's just view it as a bar chart here. Which were the sub publishers that exceeded expectation? Wow, this specific sub publisher got 71, 71 deposits. Okay, uh, so let's actually. So that seems to be an answer to that to that question. Um, so let's go ahead and just start labeling our answers over here. This is the sub publishers with the most amount of deposits. Um, and let's go ahead and save this over here. Okay. Um, okay. This is count of deposits, uh, sum of, right? Sum of deposits per sub publisher. Okay, cool. Per sub publisher sum of deposits per sub per sub publisher and uh, yeah where is it going to go into uh, we should really create a new collection all personal collections you know what maybe we should create a new collection before we actually save this okay so i'm going to go into uh into metabase should we cre let's create a new new collection i'm going to go into create new dashboard new pulse no. Mm, browse all items. Okay. I press new collection. What's the name of this company is Start App. The Start App Collection. Okay, create. Cool. Now whenever I want to see all the dashboards, the pulses and the questions around a specific client, for example, I'll just have be able to put it within Start App. Uh the nice thing about Metabase is you can reload it. Um, control R and it'll take me back to this view this is and now I'm gonna save I'm, I'm just need to do that again table options I'm gonna go into a bar chart this is and I'm gonna press save 
I'm going to save it in a specific collection. In this case, I'm going to save it in the start app collection. What am I going to call this? I'm going to call this sum of uh, deposits. Oh, there you go. Okay. Per sub publisher, save. Okay. Add this to a dashboard. Correct. Okay. Within start app collection, I'm going to create a new dashboard. And what am I going to call this? I'm going to call this... Um, this dashboard, I'm going to do start app assignment. Okay. Create. Cool. All righty, cool. And this I'm going to spread out all the way just because it's got so many different columns, so many publishers. And I'm going to press save over here. All right, guys. Cool. So now we know over here we have the sum of deposits per sub publisher. Now there's so much. There's so much data over here. It's a little hard to really hover over it. Maybe we can, if we wanted to, we can also cut out all the sub publishers that had le uh, zero deposits. All right. So let's go ahead and edit. And now that we have this in the dashboard, we're going to click it. And I'm going to show the editor and I'm going to say uh, visualize. Okay. The, this is the conversion data filter. Filters sub publisher is blank. Nah, I think at this point we need to actually move on to SQL. So let's go ahead and oh wait, summarize sum of. Okay, let's go into view the SQL and just convert this question to SQL. All right, group by blank, order by blank. Where? Okay, conversion data as sum. Okay, as analysis. Okay, I'm going to turn this select all from, from the analysis table. This is a nested query. It's called in SQL. Where, um, where, what's this called? Where sum is more, sum is greater than zero. Okay, let's run it again. Okay, much cleaner now, right, guys? So let's let's go ahead and save that. If you need uh you need to brush up on your SQL skills, feel free to brush up on your SQL skills. But the main thing I did over here is I removed all the sub publishers where the sum was zero. All the sub publishers that were a total that that brought zero deposits are now not in the table, and now I can view the table much cleanly. You know, users, decision makers can hover over the dashboard a little bit a little bit uh, more easily okay so i press save the query and i save it and i can always revert back to the previous version if i want but everything is looking really good that's the answer to number one we've gotten the data into metabase we've created our first dashboard uh, so that's really awesome uh, and if we go into our collection we see we have a question and we have a dashboard and this specific dashboard contains the question uh, we can go ahead and add more fancy stuff, which we're going to do in the later videos as we continue to work through the assignment. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. If you have any questions along the, uh, um, up to this point of the, of the tutorial, feel free to reach out. More than happy. Maybe the community can help you out. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll be able to help you out. And uh, looking forward to digging in. In the next videos, we're going to go ahead and answer, try to answer the rest of the questions. And we're going to try to put the answers straight into our Metabase dashboard. All right, guys. So plenty of questions, plenty more analysis to do. Now that we have the data in, in Metabase, it's going to be uh, much easier to, uh, to really visualize the answers. And uh, um, feel free to reach out if you have questions. And looking forward to seeing you in the next videos.